Daventry, the kingdom of Daventry. These are all his journeys over the years. But Grandpa is quite old now. <laughs> well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. <laughs> we got here as fast as we could. And um, I like Grandpa's stories. Especially the ones with dragons. Oh yes, the legendary beast he outsmarted with its own dinner bell. I don't know if he forgets that I've heard that story before, or if he just doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes, doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Oh, he's pretty nice. I thought he would make fun of her. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Oh. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. Oh. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Hmm... A distraction sounds like Grandpa's style, judging by the bell. Thinking of a problem in a different way, and finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before oh, I was God. a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. I thought he was going to tell the one about the dragon again. <laughs> well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Oh, what is that? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! I can kind of control this. Maybe. Oh. Oh. 
so much for resting up. Ouch. Oh. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. There's two ways we can go. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. What about the other way? Oh! Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph! Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Okay. Hopefully Triumph can come find us soon. There's tracks here. Somebody's been here recently. Whoa. It's a knight in shining armor on a white horse. Horse? <laughs> hey, over here. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? I didn't. Oh. Oh! That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. All right. Oh, there's another knight. Did you see that? Another knight just came by. There be any mouthpieces around here? Pretty please. Although, would you really want to use a mouthpiece that you found in the woods? That seems a little unsanitary. <laughs> Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Look at the tree. Snapped in half. Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, it looks like we're just climbing up now, forgetting the mouthpiece. That's okay, too. Oh, wow. We're walking a long way. Oh, look at how many cute animals there are. The tracks again. Ooh. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. They didn't, so I took the toolbox. No! Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Are we sure about that? The only money to my name, five gold coins. A small hatchet for using responsibly. Don't think anything else is going to fall off, but, but. There was no reason to chop down that 
perfectly good tree. <laughs> okay. If you say so, Grandpa. Can we get across here? Hoppity hop hop. No, 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 no. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Oh. The tracks that went by earlier. Maybe their wagon broke down. Yeah, look at this. It seems like somebody went through this part of the woods. There we go. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Ow! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Or a... Oh! oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite <laughs> material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, you want me to fix your chariot, so you'll give me a lift to the tournament. I got it. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, I did find your toolbox. How can I begin fixing? Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and darn nabs it! Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Oh. How about the hatchet? I did lose the rest of his tools though, so hopefully he's not too angry about that. Alrighty. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? <laughs> You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Grandpa jokes. Ooh. Things are kind of scary here. Why can't we repair the other wheel we saw? Ooh. There's no guarantee that there's any wheels here. Eh. Wheels? Oh. Another well. What are the chances? Nothing? Ooh. What the heck? That? Oh, look at the- look at the door! <laughs> Something slashed it open. Or, slashed it. I don't suppose. And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed <laughs> for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Oh, stop judging me. <laughs> you can't blame me. You gave me a hatchet. Of course I'm going to use it on everything. It doesn't seem like anyone's replying inside, so I don't know what's going on there. But we could probably use the hatchet here. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The 
your well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I hope it's not the same well. I tried to chop down those four weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Oh. So it seems like we might not be able to do anything here. Maybe if I look around a little bit more carefully. Is anyone really not gonna reply to my knocking? Should I try knocking once again? There's nothing else around here. Yeah, nobody's home. Oh well. Then we'll just have to find another way. The door, I don't know if we can go inside, but the, the thorns, we need a sharper blade. Which we don't have. So for now, maybe we should just go back to where we came from. Oh! No, that's the same path. I thought there was a different path here. It's all dark and stuff here, ooh. Anything over on this side? Well, the wheel! We could probably get the wheel from the- Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Hey, don't be like that little girl, Gwendolyn. Grandpa's taking the time to tell you a nice story. Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and fire knocks her. Could we just repair this wheel? Is that not a thing? The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Yeah, I don't know how you would repair that part anyway. Maybe I gotta look around a little bit more. What's this side? I can't go anywhere from here. Hmm. We got the toolbox. There's nothing here. And there's nothing beyond this. I feel like we're missing something because we're traveling really far back and I don't feel like that's where we find things. We need to find either a sharp blade or something. Oh, maybe we can ask the guy for a sharp blade. Yeah, let's try that. Because going that far back seems counterintuitive. Although, again, some of the puzzles are supposedly just not that logical. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Actually, I don't know anybody's names here. Ooh, I'm a rock! No, I'm not! Uh, enjoy your broken wheel! Find me a wheel, boy! Anything big and round should do the trick. Big and round? Hmm... You still haven't found that replacement wheel? Hey, I'm not the one that's late for that tournament, you know. What? What happened to the rest of my tools? My oh. wheel mending kit was in that toolbox. You expect me to fix this wheel with only a hatchet? Hatchets are for destroying, not for fixing. What kind of game are you playing here, boy? Oh, I know. Maybe I could use this blade to chisel a wheel out of driftwood. Or perhaps I could cut down a rubber tree plant and weave myself a wheel. You are not going to last three seconds in that tournament with that kind of stupid dream logic. Tell you what, you can keep my hatchet, but please bring me a real solution. You know, like a wheel, big, round, rolling, a wheel that goes here, like those. Wow, he got really angry at me. Do you want my coins? Hang on to those, boy. I'd like to earn your money honestly. Okay. There's gotta be a wheel here. It's gotta be here somewhere. Pretty sure I probably just missed something on this side. But if we can't chop down those thorns and we can't get the people inside to open the door, what the heck can we do? Oh, can I chop- Ooh! Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! <laughs> I don't suppose we could chop- Oops. I don't think we can chop that. 
That's a little bit. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. Okay, okay. What about this one? Hmm. No wheels are there. <laughs> There's gotta be a wheel in one of these bushes. Because that's where wheels hide. An overgrown patch mm -hmm. of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. We can't use the hatchet. What can we do? This bush? Oh, I keep doing that wrong. Nope. Something big and round. It's gotta be inside the city. But they won't even let me in. Do I have to use five bucks for them to let me in? Seems like a waste of money. Yeah, and I can't chop that down. What's going on? Oh my goodness, I can climb over. Ah! So easily too. And I've been walking around for so long. Oh my goodness. Okay. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? Let's open that. Yes, thank you. Those marks are still kind of scary though. Hello? A bakery. And it smelled delicious. Lots of food, but nobody's here. The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Hmm. You gotta have something in your stomach. Uh, I didn't see any oh. reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. I... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I That didn't even cross my mind, but sure. We just stole from this place, though. Is that okay? We stole. <laughs> round stale bread. Huge piece of round stale bread. While we're at it, I guess we should look around a little bit more. Potions. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Against the knickknacks was a little collection tray with a sign asking for tips. With not a single tip inside. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. Where is everybody? I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. Well, you're not wrong. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Ah, so we could use the table as a wheel too. I didn't Oops. need to borrow more than one wheel. Fair enough. And that seems to be it for here. Maybe the bakery person will get mad at me later. Uh oh. Anvil. A blacksmith? Look like a blacksmith shop of swords. There's another circle here. I borrowed enough for the day. This one seems sturdier. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Oh, Grandpa, you have no adventurous spirit! Hmm... That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Oh! I should probably go back and tip the bakery. Because I stole their wheel. I wished I had some marshmallows. What? <laughs> 
wished I had some marshmallows. It's a blacksmith forge, not a campfire. Okay, I'm gonna leave them some tips because I did steal their, or borrow, their bread. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. I took my money back. Wow! That's... <laughs> now I let's... decided to leave some coins for the bread. Three coins? I only have five. That's okay. If I'm gonna become a king in the future, I can't be a thief. Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> oh dear. I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. <laughs> What's over- Oh! Okay. Hello, can I squeeze by you gents? No. We are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. Oh, rapscallions like me? Oh, well, uh, good job. You guys keep doing your thing. I'll leave you be now. Okay, well, we have our wheel, so let's get out of here and give the wheel to that guy. Did that guy ever tell me his name? I don't know. Why are they not guarding this door? Oh. Whoa, God! Ah, a shortcut. What was that? Here, kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! Oh, this is the beginning. Okay, so it is a shortcut. Oh! We still don't have a shiny blade, so we can't go across that thorny place. So we'll go back. About the wheel. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Here you go. I thought this might do the trick. Ah. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoofs, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. <laughs> Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? How about you tell me how much that costs first? But sure. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. I'm pretty sure I got ripped off just now, but that's okay. My face just screams overcharged, right? 